Today, I'm testing out Bird Buddy, the Kickstarter smart bird feeder sensation that had a delayed release date. In a previous video, I unboxed Bird Buddy and its solar roof, and it's time to set it up and see how it works. So here's what I did. I attached this. There's four screws that go on the bottom here. I clipped the solar roof on the top, which was a little difficult, um, but it does fit over the regular roof. And then this cord comes down the back and then attaches to the camera. So then I took this and uh, drilled it in here. It's a little crooked, but I think it'll work for what we're doing. And then I have this board that I like to test the smart bird feeders on. So we're gonna do that. So we'll fill it with seed real quick and then we'll pair it with the phone and then we will see what we get. Very exciting. We are ready to go. So that all looks great. Let's uh, pair it with the phone real quick. After downloading the app, I created a username and password. Remember to charge your module too, before the first use. So it is asking location, which I like, because some of the other ones don't ask location and then they give you these wild bird, wild ideas of what it thinks the birds are. So I'm hoping location will, uh, will help it be a little more accurate. So press the button. So I actually had a lot of issues getting it to pair. So I had to take the camera inside and I basically had to, there's like a firewall for the Wi-Fi, so had to get that taken down and then I had to like reset everything, but I think we finally got it. But I did come out and there was a squirrel sitting on top of it and it's turned sideways. So we lost quite a bit of seed already thanks to the squirrels. There are probably some birds too, but weren't able to see them because we weren't set up. So we'll turn on notifications. It is updating some things and we'll get the camera back in. Our feet are updated, so it's talking about finding a good spot for it. So make sure it's within Wi-Fi range, avoid noisy areas, put it at eye level, make sure it's not blinded by the sun. So that's cool, they add some tips. So it's checking the Wi-Fi signal right now. The place where I have it is kind of the best place I've found for smart bird feeders. It says it's not looking great, so that's not good. Um, but we're going to try it anyways. Be mindful of other people's privacy. All right, let's go. Let's see this. So it says nothing yet. So does it only come on when we get a bird? So we can test the live stream. So I guess mostly it'll take pictures when it sees something. Okay, so. So we can't take media while we're watching the live stream, but we can check it out. So that's kind of cool. So apparently this is kind of hands off. It'll send you stuff when birds come to it, but you can check it out if you need to. So I guess we'll just wait and see what we get. So there's just a Junko on the live stream feed, which is more of like, you know, not the main part. So let's see if it captured any pictures of that Junko and if I was able to ID it. Hmm. It says that it didn't take any postcards, though. Which is weird, because, like, obviously there was a bird there. Everyone, it's the next morning. We got our first bird buddy update. The battery dies really quickly from what I've seen so far and without any sun because it's so cold out, um, the solar panel's not recharging it. So we got all these postcards and it says when you're watching the, like, the stream, it doesn't take postcards and the bird pretty much has to be in the middle of the frame. But we have some this morning. So let's see how the identification is. Let's see how the pictures look. You have to open them like little gifts. Seven photos, seven mystery visitors, collect. Oh, it's a squirrel. <laughs> yeah. To be expected. So you got seven photos of birds. 
Not a bird. Um, and then you get to decide what you want to keep. Is this going to be a squirrel again? It's a squirrel again. I don't like that I have to click through each one. Are any of these going to be birds? And I can't just click out of it either. And another squirrel. Yeah, this is going to be uh, annoying for you if you get a bunch of squirrels. Well, I'm going to go through these and I'll let you know if we get a bird. Well, the squirrels have completely emptied the feeder. Maybe need to change locations because ever since last night I saw that Junko, there's been nothing but squirrels. Take a look. Oh, I guess there's a little bit in there. Yeah, I'm going to refill. Maybe change location, see if that gives it a try. With any of these smart bird feeders, you really want a squirrel baffle. Things to keep the squirrels out, they're going to be filling it so much. Recharged our camera up and I grabbed the strap for hanging and now I'm trying a hanging uh, thing. I'm hoping that'll reduce squirrel uh, involvement. They may try to jump from here. That'd be pretty impressive if they're able to make it. So hopefully we'll get some birds now. All right, we got a new postcard. So I'm hoping that this is a bird. So let's check it out. Only squirrel so far and it's a house sparrow. We got something. So it's actually asking me. It says this beauty has a stumped based on your location. These are the closest matches we could find. So it does have local species. So it's a house sparrow. It's kind of interesting that it's asking me what it is. I feel like with these AIs, they're supposed to tell you, but we got our first bird. So that's exciting. I think the birds got used to the feeder now, and I saw that we've got some new postcards. So I'm excited to see if it was able to identify the birds and get some good pictures. Looks like we got quite a few. So we got our mystery bird, which was the uh, squirrel. It's funny, it still says bird unlocked. And then we got our house sparrow. So let's see what this new one is. Ooh, those are some nice house sparrow pictures. That's a good one. So we will save that to the collection. So it did ID it right away, so that's pretty cool. Let's check out the next one. Hopefully we got something more than just house sparrows. So, looks like an American tree sparrow. That's neat. And it's not even on the list. Can I add? American tree sparrow. Got him. New first time visitor. Cool. Take that. Save. We'll go. Couple more. And a house sparrow. Well, got that one from not that much of a look. Hey, we got a cardinal. So this is cool because I actually came home right when there was the cardinal at the feeder and I wanted to see if it if it got it. That's a good one. I know a lot of people would be very excited about getting a cardinal. Um, pretty cool to see up close. And uh, if you love cardinals and seeing your backyard birds up close, the smart be bird feeders allow you to get some unique views for sure. That's a cool one. Glad we're getting some diversity. So that's a new species. And then it's a, definitely more exciting when it's not just all squirrels. We got a female cardinal, so that's cool. Um, keep those two. That's pretty cool. You have like the snow on the beak that you can see too. Neat. Definitely the Bird Buddy app feels more like a video game almost. So. If you uh, like that kind of aspect, it kind of like categorizes things really nicely for you. It does a lot of work for you. Um, but some of the settings are a little more limited. Another Northern Cardinal, that's cool, that's cool. I'm gonna save those. So let's check out our collection here. We got three species of bird and a squirrel. And the, so the AI hasn't 
gotten anything wrong, which is cool. I like it when technology like that, if it doesn't know, it just says, I don't know, instead of um, giving some crazy, like, Eurasian species or something. I think the fact that it asked where you are is really important because that helps that AI work better. So pretty cool. Uh, we It got House Sparrow and Northern Cardinal, and then once I told it about Tree Sparrow, it was like, oh, yeah, there's Tree Sparrows. After testing out Bird Buddy for a couple days, I did have some final thoughts. We're going to go through the images that we got, too. Did end up having a house finch, um, more cardinals, a bunch of squirrels. They figured out how to jump um, from kind of the deck area onto the feeder. So when you get a bunch of squirrels, it's just like mystery visitor, and you have to click through each one. So it's kind of annoying. You're just like, ah, I know it's a squirrel, but you still have to click through all of them. I wish you could just like dump the whole batch. So that was a, a little bit frustrating. But let's look at our, our finals. So we got House Finch, Northern Cardinal, House Sparrow, Dark Eyed Junko, and American Tree Sparrow. So you can go and click on Gallery and see all of them. So we only have our one Tree Sparrow. We have our huge block of Mystery Visitor, which is all Eastern Gray Squirrel. Kind of cool. You can see the snow on the face there and a close-up of the eye, too. This one you can see his mouth. Did not save all the squirrel. We got just a few dark eyed juncos. During my time using Bird Buddy, did not misidentify anything, but I felt like it was asking my opinion a lot. It's like, it was a pretty clear image of a house finch, and it was like, what's this? And I'm like, shouldn't you be the one trying to tell me? Um, but it was the house finch, which we have here. Some really nice house finch images. I think the camera quality is actually pretty good on the Bird Buddy. And you can see those close-ups of the house finch. And then we got some really nice northern cardinal, which I know backyard birders love their northern cardinals. So pretty cool. Like, that's cool. You can see the crest. And then just pretty cute. Like, the angle of these bird feeders is always gives you some interesting perspective. Um, so we have our northern cardinal. And then... Also got our house sparrow, which is like, you know, they're here. So they do look kind of cute, even though they can be aggressive and invasive. Oh, that's a really nice female house sparrow. So very cool to see the images that we captured from Bird Buddy. Um, detection I did find was an issue though and I looked it up online and other people are having this issue too I was actually outside and I saw a chickadee come to bird buddy and I didn't get sent anything and I was like well how come I saw it but I didn't get anything from it so apparently they're not sending you everything that's taken so if it takes like a blurry photo it won't necessarily send it to you don't know if that's something they're going to change but other people have been kind of frustrated because they'll see birds at their feeder but they're not really getting sent anything, which is kind of the drawback of not really being able to do watch like the live stream as much. Um, but I did hear that Bird Buddy is doing a beta test of video. So right now it really only takes photos, but there some people are beta testing videos. So I think that's something they're going to be doing in the future, which would be cool. Um, so they're working on that. It's nice to know that they're making improvements. And then uh, I did have the battery be an issue. Like every three or four days, I basically had to bring it in and charge it because it's just so gloomy here that uh, the solar roof wasn't really charging it up. Hard to really get a good test of that solar roof without it being sunny here. But if you're in a cold climate where it's gloomy, you're going to have to bring the feeder or the camera in and charge it. So I did have that issue with it. There's also multiple Facebook groups that are like Bird Buddy community pages where people share their things that they're seeing and they were talking about the beta test with the video and problems they've had. Some people have had certain things breaking. I didn't have anything break um, during my use with it, but it's really interesting to kind of be part of that community. And I think that's a big plus with Bird Buddy is you can be part of kind of that Bird Buddy community and they are working on improving things um, in the future. And people in there have had misidentifications. So there was a time where I think it was like a dark eyed junco that was away from the camera and there was like a red stocking behind it and I thought it was a pileated woodpecker. So it will miss ID things. Didn't happen for me though. If you're interested in buying a bird buddy, we are partners with them. So I'll put our referral link in the comments and in the description of the video. And if you guys order through our link, we always really appreciate that. Um, no extra cost to you, just helps us out a little bit as well. And we hope you enjoyed this review. 
Let us know if you've tried Bird Buddy before what, and what you think of it. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.